So let's come through a couple of times so everybody can see it. All right, come on through. One, one in each step. Just pop your feet and just take a oh, charge. Oh, 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 loud, Susie. loud. There you go. Susie, Susie Good, go. You. Next. Now just pop him with your hands. There you go. Good, take, take a charge. Ball, 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 ball. There you go. Just step into him. Step into him. Good. Good. Charge. Sell the charge. Be loud. Pop your feet. Go. Come pop your feet. Pop your feet. Charge. charge. Good. Out of babe. Good. Good. Just take a couple steps and pop your feet. All right, that's good. Hold, hold up, hold up right there. All right, now, the other thing we try and do, when we guard right here, coach has got a live dribble. We talk to our guys a lot about being aggressive, put it above your head, and trying to get up so he turns his body. He turns his body that way, okay? Because if he turns his body that way, we got him, okay? So we want to get up in him and be physical with him. You got to get a wide stance, and you got to be aggressive with it. Um, Coach, is there anything you want to add on this drill? No, we just, we just want to make sure that our, our shoulders are below his shoulders. So if he's in a stance, we want a wide base, and we want to make sure that we talk to him all the time about getting our, our shoulders below the offensive player's shoulders so that we can get under him a little bit, depending on your athletic ability, who you're guarding, scouting reports, everything. But we want to be under him, and we want to badger that ball, like Coach Cross said. We want to make sure that we badger it and maybe even put a hand in his face. But we do this every day. It's a great drill. It's a great drill to incorporate three or four things. Footwork, closing out, and, and Coach has done a good job explaining, but we want to make sure we close out with high hands because we don't want the ball in the house. We don't want it dribble penetrated, pass penetrated. We don't want it in the house. So that's why we're closing out with high hands is is obviously we can contest the shot, but we don't want them to make a direct pass to the house. And so we're throwing our weight back, closing out, chopping our feet, and we teach our guys to close out short to start. We want to close out short, then we want to gradually get up underneath them. We have the ladders right here, so close out to them, put your hands up, and we'll have a manager sitting right here. Oh, so you didn't put your hands up. You got to put your hands up. That's part of Closing out with high hands is preventing those penetrating passes right in there. One, blocking their vision on the shot. And we do this, you know, a couple times a year. Here, you get the ball right there. All right, you shoot, go ahead, shoot a jump shot. Pretty good. Y'all nice give them two claps. Hold on, hold on, coach. All right, shoot this one too. Shot! Wow, that's impressive. Which one, though, would you rather shoot against? You'd rather shoot against the first one. So that's what we're trying to do is be loud and every time we close out, ball, 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 to try and rattle them a little bit, okay? So that's the first thing we do every single day. It's a good warm up. We work on our footwork. Uh, we work on our intensity, our communication, all those things at once.